It's okay to not be where you are. It's okay to be in a situation or a circumstance today where you say, I really would rather not be going through this. But even if you are there, and even if you don't know why, the true believer says, God, I trust you, and I will praise you. And and, and that would be my question for you this morning. Are, are Are you able today, despite your circumstances, to say, God, I thank you where I'm at today, and I will praise you even if you never tell me why. Now, it's okay to ask God why. God's big enough to handle our questions, amen? As as James says, you know, James in James chapter 1 says, but if anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. But he must ask in faith without doubting for the one who doubts is like the surf of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For that man ought not to expect anything from God. Being a double-minded man and unstable in all his ways. In summary, what James is saying is it's okay to ask God for wisdom and understanding, but watch your tone. You know what I mean? You still have to remember that he is God, and you're not. And he sees a bigger picture, so it's okay to ask God. And sometimes he may let you in, but more often than not, I don't think he does. And you have to be willing to say, God, I don't know what you're doing. And I don't know where this thing is going. But it's enough to know that you're with me. That's what makes the difference. Is that no matter what we go through, we know that God is with us.